So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys a team composition that is a hard counter to Sherbert and Frost Queen. And that team composition is going to be this one here. We've got Financier and Werewolf Cookie in the front. We've got Sherbert Cookie in the center. And then we've got Herb and then BTS. We've got the Old Pilgrim Scroll, the Revive Feather, and then also the Jelly Watch. And I just want to point out here, the reason why Herb is so fantastic is due to the cleanse provided on their skill. Checking this out here, it basically gives them the ability to remove the debuffs that are applied, in this case, aka Frost. Already diving into the very first match here, they're going to be running a Financier, Sherbert, Frost Queen, BP and Vampire. They've got the Revive Feather, the Old Pilgrim Scroll, and also the Monocle. Alrighty, officially diving in here. Now, the one thing that makes me nervous is that Vampire taking out Herb. Um, so I'm, I'm very curious. Ooh, we might lose him. Oh, he already took the Revive. That's not looking good. All right, Sherbert already took somebody out on their team for their Revive too. Man, dude, that makes me so nervous. Like I said, Vampire is gonna hit hard on that back line. So it does make me nervous, but I do wanna just show you that this is a very good um utility of Herb's skill because Herb does have that cleanse. So when, when Herb utilizes their skill, it does actually cleanse off that Frost debuff that is now being provided by the brand new Sherbert and also Frost Queen along with Snow Sugar. So just keep that in mind. As far as the overall damage numbers, though, we've got 2 million on Werewolf Cookie coming in clutch on the front line. We've got 1.8 million here for Sherbert. So again, very nice. Now diving into another round, we've got Financier Werewolf again, Sherbert this time, however, with Black Pearl. Alrighty, officially diving in here to the round. One of the things I'm very nervous on is the combination between Sherbert Herbert and Black Pearl because again, we could just see a deadly, deadly amount of AOE damage. Um, one thing I do also want to point out is you see all of these red debuffs. Look how many are get put on my cookies. When Herb utilizes his skill, watch this. Watch this. Boop. All of them are gone. And that's one of the main reasons why Herb is a hard counter, not only to Sherbert, but like any team that is going to be high debuff focused or somebody like Sherbert or Frost Queen now that are catering off of that Frost debuff. If you can utilize Herb correctly, you can actually skate away by cleansing all of the Frost debuffs. So again, very, very nice. And it comes in clutch. Like I said, we almost, almost lost here, but we did get the win. All righty, taking a look at the damage here. Oh, look at this. 4.6 million on the brand new sherbert cookie here we got two million for werewolf man i'm telling you that cleanse is beautiful as for the topics of choice we've got financier running on a full swift chocolate build we've got 26.4 percent for the overall damage resistance and 15 percent for cooldown ideally here i would try to increase the cooldown a little bit more try to get as close as you possibly can to that 17 18 percent werewolf cookie is going to be running a full solid almond build this one's going to be mainly focused on damage resistance and then get a little bit of cooldown here we've got 4.7%. The brand new Sherbert's going to be running a full swift chocolate build. Now, this one's going to be important. We're aiming for that 14% for the overall cooldown. You can see we've got 15% while still having 23.8% damage resistance. For Herb Cookie, we've got three solid almonds and two swift chocolates. Ideally, we're looking for 14% for the overall cooldown, and we are then going to be stacking the rest into damage resistance to aid in their survivability, coming in at 37.6%. And then last but not least here for BTS, we always have a full swift chocolate build you're trying to just stack up as much cooldown as you possibly can now one thing i want to tell you guys and that's going to be with this team composition a very strong counter to this team would be a full maxed out caviar on the right toppings and substats so further you get into the overall arena you got to be kind of careful on who you pick and choose to battle especially like i said if they've got a full maxed out caviar it might do enough crit damage to then take out your sherbert or even your herb so just definitely keep that in mind and with with that, that's going to wrap up our video for today on the brand new team that you guys can start using right now to hard counter the Sherbert and Frost Queen teams. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe here on the channel for everything Cookie Run Kingdom related. Don't forget that I do have a Discord. You can always find that provided down below in the description. But with that being said, as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.